Church or St. Mary's Church and uh, it's considered to be the oldest in town because there was already a church on this spot in the year 1229 uh, not in this shape it was originally probably a wooden church but from 1229 there's always been a church here so it's considered the oldest but connected to it is a really ugly story which naturally I will share with you guys uh, and this story goes back to the year 1233 when up here on the upper part of town were living some German knights they were called the Brotherhood of the Swords and there were also some Danes from Denmark and uh, they were always struggling over power and one day they get into a fight and the Brotherhood thinks that it's a good idea to, st to start killing Danes. And the Danes are quite surprised by it, so they run inside this church to take shelter. As they think we are all Christian people, they will not kill us inside the church, right? What do you think? <laughs> Nervous laughter. <laughs> Uh, almost, it sounds quite effective, but uh, they just ran after them and uh, they did, they killed about a hundred Danes in there. Uh, and when the blood rush was over, they realized that maybe it wasn't the best idea. Well, so the Brotherhood solution was to write a letter to the Pope saying something like, Dear Pope, we are so so sorry, but we killed a hundred people and it happened inside a church. So maybe, dear Pope, you are kind enough to send someone to re-bless the church. And believe it or not, the Pope did. Someone came over, re-blessed the church, and it's still an active church until this day. Now, nowadays, Estonians are actually one of the least religious people in the world uh, and these kinds of stories give you a hint why. <laughs> I mean, if that's, that doesn't uh, give you a hint, I don't know what will, because that's how religion was brought to us. With blood, with conquering. Uh, in the beginning it was a lot about money and power. Uh, rather than anything else. Still is. <laughs> Always has been. Uh, I mean, um, I, would, I would say that in, in Estonia it's a bit different uh, because people are just not religious, uh, a lot of them, and uh, those who are th then here in Estonia, our church has no influence whatsoever. Uh, so it's actually, you know, about the faith here, I would say, uh, because if you talk about percentages or about statistics, then only 30% of people say they're religious. Uh, out of that, 14, sorry, 16% is Russian Orthodox, 10% uh, is Lutheran, and then 4% is all the rest combined. Uh, but it actually gets even worse because how they kind of measure their religiousness in countries is that they ask this one question, uh, and that's, does religion play a role in your everyday life? And in Estonia, only 14% of people said yes. So for 86, it means not really. And this means that the 14% that actually go to church and, and um, it's a bit, big part of their lives, they are serious about it. And also our church, I, don't, I think our church is nice. Our like local, uh, I don't think there's anything about money and power there. It's more about uh, their faith and I, 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 I mean in some places maybe yes in the world but not here uh, but historically yes a lot of it was about money and power uh, so so that's why Estonians I think nowadays are as well how we are although I wouldn't say we're not religious because people here believe in stuff like Karma, energy, superstitions, ghosts, hugging trees, things like that. Hugging trees, yes. So there was this survey where they asked people, do you believe that if you hug a tree, you get good energy? And I kid you not, 70% of people said yes. So to sum it all up, 30% of people believe in God, 70% of people believe in hugging trees. So. <laughs> I think we are these little elves running around here uh, and definitely I wouldn't say we're not religious, we're just 
not religious in your common way, but people believe in stuff. And I have so many stories connected to this. And like, if you start wondering about it, what people do on a daily basis, then you'll understand. Uh, I can tell you one story that's quite good. Uh, so we have this superstition that if you say something, for example, uh, oh, what a beautiful weather today. I hope it won't change. Then in order not to jinx it, you need to do this. Toy, toy, toy. Like metaphorically spit across your left shoulder three times. Or otherwise the weather will change. So it's like knock on wood in some places, but we do toy, toy, toy. Um, and my father told me the story that he went to the doctor, like to his GP, and he has this chronic illness thing. Um, and the doctor prescribed him some medicine. And my father asked the doctor, so if I take this pills, will the attacks not happen anymore? And the doctor does this. Tweety tweet, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> so hard like <laughs> and my father said that well a normal person maybe wouldn't go to the doctor at this one anymore but in Estonia you respect them even more <laughs> they don't want to jinx it uh, so with these kinds of stuff that's just a part of, of the culture and and this means definitely we do believe but just uh, maybe we're more spiritual and then religious any questions